Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, my lovely Scorpios. So this is a monthly reading for you all. From today, I won't be doing any daily readings on this channel. So I'll be doing my daily readings in another channel. You can go check that out. It will be there in the description box below. The link will be there in the description box below. So this channel is wholly based on the monthly readings, day, uh, weekly readings, bi-weekly readings and also pick a card readings, okay? So, yeah guys, so without any delay, let's start off the reading for you all my lovely Scorpios. So, my lovely Scorpios, what's coming up for you all for this month, February? Wait guys, wait a minute guys. Oh, my lovely Scorpios. What is coming up? You will text people in a creative way or you will have a lot of creativity and a lot of responsibilities. Okay, so this month you will be having a lot of responsibilities and people will be asking you a lot of help that you need to help them. Okay, energies for this month. Yes, you might even feel that why all of your efforts are not being paid like but i see here it will be paid but it will take time okay all you need to know is the efforts whatever you're putting into your lives right now my lovely scorpios is going to give you good results but not so early okay it's going to give you good results in the future okay Let's concentrate on the daily energies first, then I'll be moving on to our loving energies, okay, or our love energies. So, this month will be great for you to enjoy your lives. You can go somewhere, you can, um, what is it, socialize, you can have a lot of, um, what is it, jolly time with your friends or whatever, okay. Let's see what else is coming. You will have um, ambition or a life goal that you will be doing successfully, Scorpios. Like whatever you, your life goal is, whatever dream you have, you will be accomplishing it and you will be like working on towards your goals and dreams this month, okay? You will be working really hard towards your goal, I also see for some of you. You'll be a hard working person in the middle of the this month okay i'll be also doing weekly reading so you can check that out it'll be detailed of every week okay okay guys so you're walking away from emotions you won't be concentrating on anything emotional okay because i see no emotions you will be seeing life in a practical way you won't be concentrating that much on emotions okay and for your other if you're having a crush or something the crush will be looking forward to come towards you you people have options i also see here scorpios obviously you scorpios have many options and still you want that only like you want that only person to be with you and that is why you are called scorpios like scorpios are like scorpios they never change right until something drastic happens you people never change so you have many options like love options or whatever it is but you're stuck on someone i see here okay many people want you guys scorpios but you are stuck on that one person okay it's maybe true love maybe like you're thinking that you found true love or it is a soulmate or a twin flame connection that you're stuck on and you don't want anything which is like what to say anything not relating to soulmate or twin flame you just want a committed connection and you don't want a connection that is karmic you want something that is soulful in nature okay so that is why you're not letting go of this person what else is coming for you all so this month is going to turn out you're going to be communicating with a lot of people you're going to have a lot of fun too but you're stuck with one person you're not ready to move on from the situation 
I also see here you're working hard, your efforts are not being paid, but it will be paid in the future. So don't worry, just continue with your efforts, okay? We also have the Wheel of Fortune, the Destiny card, which means whatever is happening in your lives right now, it is destined to happen. It was like written in the stars, okay? So if you are a person left you or something like that, if this is a twin flame connection, they left you because the destiny wanted you both to separate because this is not the time, correct time for you to be together. So divine timing is working in your love life, okay? I'll just take few more cards. So these are the cards for your general energies, okay guys? So let me pull out some of the cards for your love energies and then I'll be taking some cards from these two decks. Okay, and then I'll be completing the reading for you all. For your love energy, Scorpios. This person, whoever you're dealing with, they feel you're like a star, okay? They want this marriage with you. They want this commitment with you. Okay, guys? This person might have had uh, like two decisions to make regarding this love interest regarding you. Or they want, they were like questioning themselves do i want this love or do i want to work okay but they but now they can't work without staying committed to you like leaving you and going in a particular situation or like not talking to you or something like that because of the work is they're feeling regret and remorse because they're doing all uh, they're doing and they're acting like this because of something else okay they're just feeling guilty that they left you in your hard times okay this person feels guilty i also see here they want to celebrate something with you they want to celebrate their success with you or you want to celebrate your success with them i see a lot of working energies here so mostly you people are not concentrating on love or anything right now you're concentrating on work but i see here you really this person is also concentrating on their work and you're concentrating on your work okay this connection is really deep and this person wants true commitment with you it might also mean this person was not very emotional towards you okay but then they will be emotional soon you might have also been dealing with and uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or I see Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, and also I see here um, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, okay? It can be any three of these signs like water, air, or fire, okay? Or earth, like <laughs> all the signs, I see all the signs here. Taurus mostly, Gemini, I see Leo, Aries, okay? These are the most prominent signs that are coming forward in this reading, okay? So this is your general situation here, guys, for this month, okay? So let's see what this person really thinks about your connection for this month. Okay, they're not, not ready to move towards this connection because this person is not yet ready for the commitment right now but they really want this connection but they do but they are not actually ready for the commitment okay and they want to be committed they have you see this card here my lovely scorpios this person has two decisions to make and they need to make a decision correctly they want to come to you but in the same way they don't want to come to you okay the final decision of this month wow we have the world card which means like you've been going through the cycle of being with this person for over like two or three lifetimes I see here. So this is not just something which is happening to you all in this lifetime. Okay, you've been traveling this, with this person for lifetime after lifetime and that's all you need to know. Okay, guys. So for this month, they're not ready to come towards you, but they really want commitment with you. Okay, this person wants commitment with you. They working on themselves once they work on themselves and once they find their truest potential they once they yearn once they settle in life they will be running towards you i can tell that okay because this person wants to come towards you when they have the stability in their lives oh my god this is giving me tears i don't know why okay so let's pick out some of the cards from this angel deck what do the angels 
have to tell you okay what do the angels have to tell you step into light be discerning be tolerant so this month is going to be a very hectic month for you you're going to lose your emotions you're going to be like too much you're going to be very dramatic in the text or in your calls or you're going to be really dramatic okay we also have the seek enlightenment card which means your spiritual self is definitely working okay you're being spiritual and whatever you do this month is like you are like believing on all sorts of things and you're telling people that yes i do believe is it is there anything wrong if i believe in all of the spiritual thing yes i do believe like you don't you are not scared that people will think something about you or something like that okay for some of you like you are voicing out your thoughts and opinions to people a lot or whatever you think whatever you say you are like giving a lot of emotions out and it's the angels are asking you to be tolerant be controlling your emotions because these emotions are not going to stay with you forever maybe just for some point of time you will have these kind of emotions okay after some point of time you won't be uh, having all these emotions right so that's what the angel wants you to know that uh, don't waste your time effort and energy on what is it channeling a lot of emotions into you okay and you also tend to overthink this month i also see here guys so this is such a very detailed reading i have for you all okay let's see what else is coming with these cards here okay what else is coming for oh, my lovely lovely scorpios scorpios my lovelies what is coming up for you willingness tolerance see be tolerant and tolerance we the universe is asking you to appreciate like everyone you love be tol tolerant okay i'm definitely going to read this card and this card for you all like and we have the self love so try to have some self love right now guys because i see without self love it is not going to help you okay self love you should have some self love okay i'm just going to read this be tolerant card now for you all okay guys let me read tolerance is about finding a balance between being detached from a situation without reacting in a knee jerk manner and being fully engaged in order to respond appropriately angel Shamuel can help you find that balance so that you can still be fully involved with situations without reacting in a destructive manner. You are able to observe and acknowledge what is going on and contribute in a constructive way. You can transform a negative situation into a positive one through responding rather than reacting. This does not mean giving up on your own beliefs or sense of right and wrong. The goal is to comprehend all sides of the situation in an impartial manner before taking a stance. So, this is for the angel messages from the angel inspiration deck, okay? That is for this card. I'll be reading out all three cards for you all, okay? First we have the willingness card which means you are able to compromise if the end result is love okay now i will be reading for your willingness part okay so let's see what is coming up i see you need to release guys you should be willing to compromise stuff with people around you i also feel okay let's see pages willingness card yes we have here you have come to earth earth's plane to learn to accept things you cannot change as opposed to those you can life is a constant game of discovery but no price can be put on any experience because each one transforms you 
when you are willing to look inside and begin to change your habits self imposed fears and perceptions only then will you be able to see your true self the catalyst for transformation comes from your willingness to forgive open your heart and be honest with yourself you are never too old to learn and each day should be filled with excitement about how your perspective will be altered you can gauge your spiritual growth by your willingness to learn from and to accept another by keeping an open mind when conditions change you expand your knowledge of life allowing love to radiate through you and in within you everything you do brings divine awareness to all those in your sphere rigidly adhering to your dogma is doing a disservice to your growth the willingness to accept others and their individual path is a soul strength okay so this is all i have for you guys so that is for the willingness card okay let's read for the tolerance card and for the self love card too okay so tolerance as i told before the same meaning applies okay guys so i'll just be reading for the self love part self love where is it 99 yes self love you realize that love is self love of self is necessary to love another as the old saying goes you cannot love somebody until you love yourself it's true the most important goal you can achieve in this physical dimension is that of loving yourself unconditionally and it's a tough one you are the very person who knows you your dark secrets faults and shortcomings the best It's easy to see the good in other people because you don't know anyone but yourself inside and out. Do you really think that you are the only person you know who is not worthy of your love? Your soul is perfect, your human shell is per- imperfect, and so is everyone else's. The quality of love you give out is the only as good as the quality of love you have for yourself. So stop shortchanging the world. by not loving yourself with the same intensity you do others you've made mistakes but you've learned from them that's the progress the spiritual evolution are all about love your weakness as much as your strengths because they are your teachers so this is all i have for you all all the message uh, that i have for you all thank you all so much for watching my lovely scorpios so this is all the reading this is the reading for you all for this month don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if it resonated bye guys see you all in my next video bye